IoT Park instructional video. This video explains the IoT Park features and runs you through a step-by-step -step guide to get your system working. Purchasing the device. First things first, in order to get your hands on an IoT Park device, you need to head to our IoT Solutions website and navigate to the parking product. From here, you can easily purchase the product via PayPal or Visa. IoT Park Package Scroll down and you will find the basic IoT Park Package, which includes one parking sensor, four robots, four security caps, four pre-installed primary lithium batteries, which power the sensor for 10 years based on a four to five car per day, one year free platform access. Platform access. If you want to have a platform access for more than a year, you can purchase more from the IoT Park website. Once you have added this to your cart, proceed to checkout and proceed to pay via PayPal or Visa. Make sure you send us your email on technical at iotmalta.com upon purchase, including your order identification code, the account email which you want to add your new devices to. If you do not already have an account with our platform, you will create an account using this email. If you would like to group your devices in separate groups, specify the number of sensors you want to place in each group and specify the respective group name. For example, if you order 100 sensors and you want 60 in one group and 40 in another, you can write as shown times 40 dash group name 1 times 60 dash group name 2. As explained, after your purchase is processed, we will create an account based on your desired email to access the IoT Solution Parking Management Platform. Your devices will be added to this account. If you do not send us your email following the purchase of your online platform subscription, we will assume that the email provided during the checkout process is the email that you wish to have access on. If you do not provide us information about grouping of sensors, all the purchase and sensors will be grouped into one group. You will also receive an email with a randomly generated password enclosed. Now you can move to using the online dashboard. Navigate to your IoT parking platform which can be accessed from our product website or from the email you received containing your account password. Enter your email and password to access the platform. The map will initially look empty, since the parking sensors at this stage have not yet been placed on the map. You may choose to update your password. To do so, press at the top right icon, then press on settings. In the below menu, enter your current password in the first tab, and your new password in the second and third tab. Press on change password and your password is now changed. In the Update Geo widget, you can now see the devices which are already connected to the online dashboard. After installing a sensor, obtain the sensor's installation GPS coordinates in decimal format by using Google Maps or otherwise. Using the same widgets on the IoT Park platform, you can submit their latitude and longitude doing the following. First, select the device ID. Select the manual location on the second tab. Enter 1 in the value tab and move on to enter the latitude and longitude in their respective tabs. Refresh the screen and you should see the parking sensor on your map. The red markers indicate that the parking spot is taken whilst the green markers indicate that the parking spot is empty. You can also refer to the legend widget to know the status of your sensor. 
If you have multiple groups of installed sensors on the map, you can filter and zoom in on particular groups. You can click on the marker on the map to monitor latest values of the sensor parameters. If you press on the Go to Insight dashboard, the individual sensor history information can be observed and the following parameters seen. Parking status history, temperature, sequence number which refers to the message number, signal health information, missed messages timeline. You can filter particular date and time and use the interactive zoom on the graph to zoom in on the date of interest. Install devices. Now that you got your parking device and set up your online dashboard, you can prepare the following items for installation. You will need a cordless hand drill, a 7mm HSS drill, an 11mm HSS drill, a hammer, 10mm socket and ratchet. You can also keep 7 millimeter diameter pins, ideally three, handy to ease the installation. Okay, let's install the IoT Park devices. Step one, mark the location where you want to install the sensor on the road and place the sensor on top of it. Step 2. Hold down the sensor and drill one of the four sensor holes with the 7mm HSS drill and a depth of approximately 60mm. Step 3. Place the 7mm pin to align the hole of the sensor and the hole to the ground. Step 4. Repeat for all the other holes until you end up with four 7mm holes in the ground aligned with the sensors. Step 5. Remove the sensor and re-drill the four holes with the 11mm HSS drill and a depth of 45mm. Step 6. Slightly hammer in the four robot cylinders into the 11mm hole until the robot cylinder is all in the ground and you can now place the sensor flush on the ground on top of it. Step 7. Secure the sensor in place by using four supplied washers and bolts. Tighten the bolts to hold the parking sensor down. The sensor is now secured in place. Step 8. Initialization. To initialize the sensor, the parking spot must be empty. Place the supplied magnet on top of the sensor just above the notch. The sensor should perform three long consecutive beeps and ten short consecutive beeps 
if the magnet is kept stationary during the beeping. The 10 consecutive beeps indicate that the sensor was initialized properly. During the 10 beeps, remove the magnet and take it about 5 meters away from the sensor. If you hear a different beep sound during the above procedure, remove and reapply the magnet steadily to the sensor until you hear 10 consecutive beeps and the initialization process is carried out correctly. Step 9. Take note of the sensor's latitude and longitude and update the location of the device on the online platform as described. You may check the sensor's dashboard message to confirm correct operation. Upon confirmation that the sensor is operating correctly, which means that the sensor is showing up green on your map, apply the four security caps and the initialization procedure is now complete. In the case that the sensor requires to be recalibrated due to an unlikely event, the sensor does not require to be removed from the ground or opened. If, for some reason, the sensor is moved to an alternative parking spot, the recalibration process would need to be completed. The recalibration process should be carried out when the parking space is empty. Simply place the magnet close to the sensor and remove it as soon as you hear a single beep sound. Single or multiple beeps do not make a difference in the recalibration result. For further information or requests, kindly contact the IoT Solutions team on info at iotsolutions.com.mt